have those moments where you contemplate your life choices and you don't know what you're doing? That's me right now and I'm such a different color. Hi hi everyone, it's Celeste and welcome to my channel. My channel is all about cosplay! I teach you tutorials on how to make the outfit, how to do the makeup so you can become the character of your dreams. Today you can see that I am still in cosplay yet again! It's starting to become a trend that I stay in cosplay and then just film my intro and outro. I hope that's not too annoying. Anyways, today's cosplay is Persephone from Lore Olympus. If you guys haven't checked it out, Used Band-Aid created a webtoon comic that is so amazing. I think it is one of the most like interesting romances that I've seen with the Greek gods. It's kind of set in a modern period using cell phones, cars, um, social media, going to university, using books. Uh, everyone has like a different color so it helps you differentiate who is what and what god is who. Obviously, I am doing the titular character of Persephone today. This one I decided I wanted to try using stuff I already had and you know I have a ton of makeup that I don't use so I wanted to try using it as body paint. Well face paint really. And that's what makeup is. Makeup is essentially face paint so I covered all my face. Including my ears. Yay! I'm a little disappointed that I don't have the right wig. You know what you don't have to be disappointed about is clicking that red button down below, kind of like my face, to subscribe to my channel so you never miss out on any future cosplay content. So this tutorial is very quick and easy and just a little bit uh, more about me rambling. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in a comment down below. Let's go ahead and get started! For this tutorial, make sure you have a super nice and clean face. Get all excess oils and dead skin off before attempting this tutorial. Now go ahead and take all your hair and tie it back. This is going to be easier for when you apply all the makeup. This way it doesn't get in the way. Go ahead and grab a primer for your skin and slowly add it to your face and make sure it gets worked in on your ears and your neck as well. If you're going to cover more of your body, go ahead and do that but I'm just going to do my neck, ears, and face for this tutorial. So for this, I wanted to try something extremely new. I know I'm breaking like code right now, but I want to try using eyeshadow to cover my face to become Persephone from Laura Olympus. That's why I made this jacket. That's why we're going to be turning ourselves pink today. Make sure to have a little bit of water so it'll be easier to apply and have a mirror on hand. So my mirror is over here but I will be generally looking forward. Uh, I'm gonna try using this old Kat Von D palette that I got ages ago, and yeah, it says 12 months. Oh well, it's expired makeup. I am going to be using a big brush so I can get all of the space. I hardly use the color pink, by the way. And kind of like what we did in my video with Stina. Oops, I'm just peeling off the paint on this now. I am going to take a wet brush and paint my face with eyeshadow. If this stains my face pink for the whole day, I am so screwed. Get your brush wet and slowly work around your face like you're painting it. This is actually pretty therapeutic and fun. Just go ahead and get your face entirely pink. And I mean it. Get pink, 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 pink. Make Barbie jealous by having so much pink. You ever have those moments where you contemplate your life choices and you don't know what you're doing? That's me right now, and I'm such a different color. I'm giggling with pink. Keep in mind that when you dip your brush into your eyeshadow first, it's going to pick up the most, and as you swipe forward, you're going to lose more of the pigment. Make sure to blend out that first stroke that you get, and then apply more. Otherwise, you'll be splotchy. Make sure to kind of cover your ears if it's a little exposed. Ooh, that tickles! <laughs> There is that. We're just gonna go for the neck right now and let it dry. You know what, I'll just, I'll go. Let me take this off. Keep in mind what outfit you're going to be wearing. If you are going to do the neck part, make sure you seal this completely. That way it does not rub off onto your clothing. Good thing I didn't waste all that blush. This is so pigmented. I am so worried that this isn't gonna come off. And I mean very worried because I have a date later tonight with my husband. When you feel like you have added enough pink onto your skin, go back with your brush and slowly blend it out. You don't want to blend it so much that you're going to lose product, but make sure you have ample amount everywhere and it's streakless. There! If you didn't know, I am super pink now. 
So this is just me doing the makeup for my face and my ears and my neck. My neck could have been blended a bit better, but you can also do your hands. Now I'm going to do a little bit of highlighting and contour. So I'm going to be using this lilac color from the same palette and I'm going to fill this in underneath my eyes, on my nose, and above my lip. So now I'm going to use this like dark reddish brownish color here. This one used to be a green until I dropped it and then all of it came out. So now I don't have dark green. So actually I think that might be too dark for a contour. I don't want to contour too hard because she's kind of young. So I'm just going to exit my jawline just a tiny bit. See how it looks. I think it's fine. Now this is really red. Um, I'm using this red color. This red color. This is white pink, but this is red. I don't know what overcame me, but I thought I needed to add blush. That's why I'm adding this very bright red. Honestly, you could probably skip this so it's not so harsh contrast on top of your skin. This is starting to make it look a little bit too sun-kissed, if you know what I mean. So probably skip this step. I'm showing you so you learn from my experience. So that's kind of it, I guess, because if I'm looking at, at Persephone here, I don't want to go too far ahead in this video and show you, but this is Persephone. So we're kind of going for this look. Like that, right? It doesn't look right. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to make my eyebrows a little bit more pronounced and then give myself some eyes and then some lipstick. Yeah! Spoolie out my eyebrows so I know where they're located. Now I'm just gonna comb my eyebrows down. This little angle brush. I'm gonna wet this little angle brush and dip it in black because we want my eyebrows dark. So now I'm just going to use a black eyeshadow and just fill in my eyebrows as dark as possible. Now I already know that all of my face is like pink, so I think I'm going to try using a different pink eyeshadow for my eyes, just to highlight it just a tiny bit. I'm going to go in with this like neutral pink and then I'm going to go in with hot pink on the sides maybe. Don't know, but neutral pink is going to go all over my lid. Future Celeste chiming in here. Okay. Future Celeste chiming in here letting you know you should probably either A, not paint your eyelids dark pink, or B, use a primer and then put the light pink on top. This is gonna help give it a little bit more dimension and stick easier onto your skin versus just layering very hard and kind of smudging out the rest of the makeup. I'm gonna use this Muse. This Muse color to highlight here and underneath. You, 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 you. You, 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 you. Could use white. I want the whitest thing on my face to be my eyes. Yeah. Got it. Jeez. <laughs> I feel so weird. So I feel like Core or Persephone doesn't have like a huge ton of like eyeliner and stuff, but because she is a character in a comic book and overly emphasized eyes, I'm going to go ahead and add thick eyeliner because I think that's what she needs. I need to buy me my new, I need to get a new eyeliner. My, this one's almost out and I lost my other one, so shit. <laughs> Draw on a very thick and winged eyeliner. Oh, I feel so much cuter already. Believe it or not, I'm actually blushing. <laughs> Good. Look at that. We have our eyes done. Contouring done. Blush. Cause it's already on. So now I'm gonna go back and add some shiver white eyeshadow to the tear duct of my eye and a little bit underneath on my waterline as well. Using a powder highlighter, I'm going to go in and tap it onto my cheekbone, on my nose, and a tiny bit above my lips. Now I'm going to prep a pair of eyelashes. I think it'd be fun if I had some super dramatic lashes. I'm using these super big chunky ones. Can you, can you see it? Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna prep these and apply a mascara for myself. So I'm gonna test this bright lipstick. See if I like it. If I don't, I'm removing it because she's got some cute little puffy lips. 
then she's got some cute puffy lips that I'm gonna draw like an outline or maybe highlight my lip a little bit more because this is so pink that like I can't believe how pink I am oh this is this is a look oh my god I almost really love it. this changed the entire thing so I'm using a hot pink because I don't want it to be a matte, like just carnation pink. So you already know what my face looks like. I don't feel like I needed a super long montage. I don't really think so, you know? But, um, a few thoughts. Uh, one, I can't believe how well this, this eyeshadow covered my face. I am very excited about that. I know that there are so many people out there that use really high quality pigmented eyeshadows and it stays. So I hope that my face will not be tinted pink for the rest of the day or till tomorrow. That would be very unfortunate and cancel all my weekend plans. So that is not fun. Secondly, I love Laura Olympus. So leave a comment down below if you read it or love it as well. Who is your favorite character? I'm actually shook because when I started this tutorial, I thought I was going to come out looking like a strawberry or some like cherry. And I actually feel very cute and beautiful. And I just want to go out there and charm everyone with my lovely skills and grow plants or something. So this costume you can actually dress up or down depending on how you feel and what you want to wear at your own discretion. So you can actually wear a lot of things. Core is very versatile. So you can go all black and go with the future tense because everyone should know what the lore is for Greek gods. So we all kind of know what that's going to look like. Or you could just go pure and white, kind of like the Greek god, kind of like mythological look. It's totally okay. With that being said, if you haven't seen my previous video, I show you how I made this jacket. This is actually inspired from episode 7. Go ahead and click that on one of the links above. And if you haven't done so already, check out my other videos. I actually don't upload enough makeup videos, so if you have any idea of who else I should make for a makeup tutorial, leave a comment, and I will see you guys later. I just, <laughs> I am so shook. Like, I don't think you guys know that I'm actually blushing right now. It's kind of funny. <laughs> like, I'm looking in the mirror, and I'm just like, you're pink. I'm definitely pink. Like, I think, I think, like, I did a really good job in accentuating like my features and making me look like I'm not just pink and flat and dimensional and like not two dimensional. So I think I did a pretty good job. So make sure to check out my other videos like I said here. Subscribe if you haven't. Leave me a comment down below talking about Laura Olympus or any future makeup tutorials that you would like to see or questions. You know, I'm okay with that. And remember to stay inspired, be creative, and I will see you in a future video. Bye!